Tell them good afternoon. Yeah, tell them say good afternoon. Yeah, I know. Say good afternoon. Bed is in the wash. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. See, anytime I come in, this is what happens. They're quiet. They're quiet as can be. And then I open my mouth and they start yelling. Yeah, I know. And it's not actually anybody's feeding time except for the two fluff balls. They get um, syringe fed every couple of hours instead of every four to five hours. The babies get bottles. What? What? I know. It's not talking. Oh, yes, you're drinking some water. Drink you some water. No? Okay. Don't step in the water. Okay, good job. Okay, well, we were just going to say good afternoon. Because I did not film this morning. Because we had a lot of cleanup to do. Oh, look at those babies. Eat, eat, eat. Eat, eat, eat. Yes, I did. I have a lot of cleanup to do. I have not told you the latest. I am almost 99 point nine percent sure that this baby the Siamese baby is blind like for real I know I know um oh he just he just stepped in food he he shows every single sign he like runs into stuff and he his eyes kind of have like a red sheen to them and He'll sit in like front of a wall and holler. And if you like go to pick him up, he'll like jump because it scares him because he doesn't see your hand or your arm. And so he like jumps so high and it like scares them. And sometimes the other babies will scare him. Like if he's sitting there and they come up to him. What baby? Okay, I'm gonna feed um, the Two that are hollering and I'll come back. Look. Oh, the new baby is eating with her sister. Do you see the size difference? Look at the size difference. And they're the same. I mean, they're siblings. They were found in the same place. And the littlest one does have all her teeth. Like, they both have the same, like, broken tail. Oh, what do you have on your tail? Oh, my goodness. I think I'm going to have to clean her off. But the size difference is amazing. It is awful. <sighs> Look at her. You go, girl. You eat all that food. Yeah. And that's the kitten food, too. So, it's... Yeah, you eat all that food. I know. I'm, I know. You're not even hungry, I bet. The second heaviest one is like hollering. Go girl, go girl, go girl. Read it all. And I had put, I had brought in some meat milk with caro syrup in it because I was gonna try to stimulate her appetite because she wasn't eating on her own. But look at this, I'm too late. I mean, I'll probably still give her. Um, supplement syringes, but this is great. Oh, are y'all the cutest thing? Yeah. Look at this butter ball. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. I know you're going to be able to get over that soon. Goodness. I got the top out to put on it. I did let them out this morning for a little while. Well, I changed everything because someone had an accident. But, what? No, it's, it's not time yet. Yes, I know it's not time yet. I know. See, your other brothers and sisters are being good. Yeah. No one's hollering but you. And you're the biggest. It's so funny to me how sometimes the biggest ones are like the loudest about food. What are y'all doing? 
And see, and I forgot to put the straw. I brought the strawberry out for them in case they got scared, which they did not. I forgot to put it back in, but I'm gonna wash it, I think, since it's out. Look, 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 look. nobody can see you. Well, they can see your claws. Yeah. Well, no. Oh, I'm gonna go get some new food because it's almost gone. It's just kind of smushed around the plate. And she keeps going over to it. I'm gonna go get some more. Look at those two over there. Hello, love bug. Oh, hello, little bug. Yes. Anyway, do. See, he just, he just, poor thing, he just like stumbles around, and he's a good size, like he, he's really healthy, he, they, you know, he's a great size, he eats well, but he just, I don't know, he, you can just tell, I mean, it's like, he never looks up, you know how most kittens, like, they look up, I know. But I held him for a long time last night after everybody went to bed because he just wouldn't get comfortable. I think he, I don't know. And so I held him for a long time and he slept and slept on me. No, don't bite your brother. That's so nice. I know. The kittens got some presents. They also, from the last batch, uh, some of the stuff that Lisa ordered didn't come before I filmed. So when it got here, I filmed uh, me opening it and then <laughs> the cat's playing with it a little bit. So I'll put that at the end of this. So I already opened everything. I know this is terrible, but I needed some of the stuff. Like, do you see the box of wipes is half empty already? I needed wipes. I needed a bottle. I, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. There's just a lot of kittens and they make a lot of poop. They eat a lot and they pee a lot. Look how pretty, I wish you could feel these. They are so soft. And I wanted these a lot because they do like the kneading, the air biscuits or whatever you call it, when um, they nurse. And I've always heard, you know, if you put something soft like this, because I cover my lap, but normally with a towel, and you know, that's not as soft. And then also um, to put this over the heated, the heating pad. So not only is it warm, but it's nice and soft. So there is a yellow one, a blue one, and a pink one. And the blankets are from Anna. It says, hi community for the new babies. Enjoy your gift from Anna. Thank you, Anna. I think the babies will really enjoy them. They really do like the really soft fleecy fabric. And I think it will help with the nursing as well. And then these are all from Patricia. It says, hi community, enjoy your gift from Patricia. And Patricia, thank you. I'm sorry, I have already used some of the stuff. <laughs> but I mean, you've sent it for me to use. So, there is a box of wipes. Can you believe I have gone through eight packs of wipes? Until you have peed and pooped a kitten, you have no idea the mess it is. Once you've had to pee and poop them, you know, manually, you'll understand it's it's awful and then there are two bags of the purina yesterday's news litter and actually i wasn't sure about this litter at first because it's really weird scooping because you know it's pellets and when they pee on them the pellets like expand they get like puffy and soft and so it was just really strange but once you get the hang of it it is kind of cool what i really like and a lot of people will probably not like a lot of people wouldn't like this but i love it is that their poop 
sets on top or if they like try to bury it you can still see the poop like the pellets just stick to it but you can still see it you can see like the consistency you can see if there's any nasty creatures in it so I, that's that's my favorite thing about this litter and there are also two bottle kits <laughs> And as you can see, I've already opened one. Um, it is a different brand, but it came pretty much the same. It came with a bottle, about four or five nipples, and a brush to clean it. And I have several bottles, but oh my God, they're always dirty. They're always dirty. <laughs> you can clean and clean and clean, but they're always dirty. And then the last thing is there are two cases, two of the Fancy Feast Chicken Kitten Food, which, you know what? Really, the chicken is the only thing I can get them to eat hardly. Now, the I would have thought the two little blind cats would eat the seafood better because it's smellier, but they all really eat the chicken the best. I mean, they, I'm fine with it. They can eat whatever they want. And now that I have two more cases, they really can eat whatever they want. Um, so thank you guys. Thank you, Anna, for the blankets and Patricia for the supplies. And thank you, Lisa, for your gifts. Loved, loved the ripple rug. And she also sent some food. I also want to thank Debbie Ditillo for the PayPal donation and Elizabeth Boyle for her PayPal donation. Thank you very much, guys. That was very generous of you, very nice of you. And I appreciate all of the donations and the gifts and the comments and the support. Really, I do. Especially now with a house full of kittens. <laughs>
Chica's like, Chica's like, what are you doing? along this wall over here <laughs> because you know we had to get our electrical done and it's not finished and I didn't feel like going and getting a lamp Big doesn't know what to do. He's never seen her like this before. Is it scary? <laughs> I think he's scared. Streak just always looks so interested in everything. I didn't get the camera out in time. I am feeding the baby. But the little silver um, tabby was over here trying to play with Jenga. Okay, I know. And he was just watching. But he really won't play with any. I think they all drive him crazy because of the noise. He really won't hardly ever play with any of them. He'll play with Jenga sometimes, and then he'll play with me anytime I play with him, but he just watches. I think he may be asleep now. <laughs> Look at them. They're like the parents. They're napping while the babysitter's inside. Or while the babysitter takes over. <laughs> Hello, little bug. Look at that baby playing. That is the newest football, the girl, playing. And let me tell you, she is so funny. She's still not even eight ounces yet. But she, all of a sudden, she just started playing and she will not stop. Like, she's hilarious. She keeps sitting on the scratch pad guarding that entrance. And so whenever a kitten comes in or out from under the dresser, she like ambushes them. And she has the same balance problems that the other one does. So half the time she just falls off the thing. It's so funny. This time yesterday, they, t they told me that she wasn't going to survive. I mean, they pretty much, I mean, they said 50-50, but uh, you could tell they were giving it good odds. Huh. <laughs> 